Hey everybody, this is Pharaoh and this is Spunkify. And we are happy to be presenting our very first issue of the League Top 10. You submitted it, we rated it, and here it is. Our number 10 clip submitted by Kazool playing as Master Yi. Here you see his team's DPS running down the river to help out the Morgana. Morgana gets stunned, opened on by Evelyn, rune prisoned by the enemy's Morgana, and the DPS arrives. They begin to focus Eve, Eve dropping like a rock, Yi with the alpha strike for the kill. Morgana backing up, Yi switching to the enemy's Morgana, Morgana dropping like a rock, the enemy's focusing down Katarina. Katarina gets away, Yi switches to Soraka for the triple kill, and that is why you cannot leave a Yi unchecked. Our number 9 clip of the week submitted by Random playing as Jax. Looks like Jax decided to stop in the woods for a very quick lizard buff, but what was a quick trip is turning out to be quite an endeavor. It does not look like Lizard wants to give Random that buff. Maybe you can consider talking it out with him because it appears your lamppost justice is not quite working. Wonder how long he's going to sit there and beat down that lizard. Here we have our number 8 submitted by Heezy playing as Ash. Here we have a lone Ash defending a tower against three enemy champions. The Nasus' HP is a little low. Ash lines up for the arrow. Nasus blows his ultimate to stay alive. Ash starts wearing him down. Gets the kill. Looks at Tristana. Tristana's HP disappears awfully quick. Puts a rank in a frost shot. Starts chasing the Karthus. Will Ash get a triple kill in a 3v1 or will Karthus get away? Looks like Karthus got away. Our number 7 clip of the week submitted by Vec LOL. Looks like Annie's team is in the jungle with some enemies in between them. Annie walks out pretty boldly, gets powerballed by Ramus and taunted. Ash pops out arrows and starts pounding on him. Annie drops a Tibbers, a Mumu ults, Vec flashes, and Annie's team just destroys the Ash and the Ramus. And that is a perfect bait. Our number six clip submitted by Spunkify playing as Corky. Here we see the match is taking place on Twisted Tree Line, the specialized 3v3 map. You see Spunk and his team working over Lizard while holding two enemies at bay, and it looks like a third has showed up. Ash opens with the arrow. Tristana jumps onto Teemo. Heal goes off just in time. Amumu bandage tosses to stun the Tristana. Tristana gets killed for first blood. The Malphite falls over shortly after. And you see Ash getting worked over for a level 6 ace. Good work. And coming in at number 5, we have Pharaoh here. Now Pharaoh looks like he's in the middle of buying a sight ward when he immediately notices that the other team's doing Baron. It looks like he's going to try to line up there for a kill still on Baron. You can see Gates there waiting. Now he's going to use a gold card. I'm not sure, but it looks like he is going to use a wild card and get the steal. Nicely done. Nicely done. Quickly scurry back to the base before they go on a rampage trying to get you for that. And checking back in there with Random really quickly. You see he's still working at that lizard. God, he has got some determination. Little engine that could, man. Little engine that could. And coming in at number four, we have Pharaoh yet again. And he's lining up yet another Baron kill steal. Let's see if he can do it. Now, he's a little bit of low on health this time, but uh, he's got a gold card this time. Let's see if he can secure that kill steal. Look at he's going in. Oh, and Eve stuns him and gets a kill. Looks like he's not going to get it this time. Too bad, Pharaoh. Two Barons, one buff. Not going to happen. Our number three clip submitted once again by Spunkify playing as Corky. Here you see his team moving in with two super creeps. Looks like the game is coming to a close. There goes a fortify and the Malphite patrolling back and forth. The Amumu ults, they go in for the kill on Malphite and Guardian Angel Prox. They switch to Tristana and Tristana just falls over. Malphite ults trying to save her too late. Tries crawling into the fountain and dies. There is an ace, and here you see Ash rezzing just in time. Ash goes out to go for a kill, gets it, tries to run back to her fountain, gets blown up, and there is a second 
ace. Man, that is embarrassing. Our number two clip of the week submitted by Vec LOL playing as Annie. Here you see him. Looks like Twisted Fate ults going in for the kill on Twitch. Drops Tibbers. Twitch flashes just in time. They switch to Nunu. Nunu starts dropping. Looks like Annie's following him through the top jungle. Twisted Fate going underneath him. You know what this clip's missing? This clip's missing some high action chase scene music. No kidding. And here you see Twisted Fate with the gold card landing it. It doesn't look like they're going to do enough damage. Twisted Fate goes up top chasing after the Nunu, Annie's going around making sure the Nunu can't run straight to base. Uses Tibbers to block the turret for Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate runs out, Malphite ults, Twisted Fate gold cards him, Tibbers drops dead from the tower, Katarina chases the Nunu. Looks like Twitch is still following Annie. Katarina kills the Nunu, looks like Twisted Fate has been dancing with Malphite, Twisted Fate's winning. Goes in for a stun, wraps around, mmm. It's not nice to be in that kind of sandwich. And there is Twitch. Opens up, mistakenly gets blown up. Ash came to help. Looks like Ash is going to volley the Cho'Gath right here. Two more people on the enemy team. And there is Twisted Fate. Pulls a blue card. Throws wild cards at them. Looks like Amumu is on the scene. Goes in, dancing around the tower. Wondering what's going to happen. It looks like Ash is running in being bold. Amumu ults. Ash gets the kill on Twisted Fate. Cho'Gath pops up Ash in the tower. Dies. Cho'Gath dead, but gets a kill from the grave. Very nice work. Our number one clip of the week submitted by Tree Eskimo from the Couch Athletic Tournament Finals. Tree is playing as Malphite here. You see his team lined up in the north jungle. Looks like the enemy team is doing Nash, or as you can see from the quirky sparkles through the fog. Looks like they steal the Nash or buff with a Teemo auto attack. Malphite runs in there for the stun. His team moves in. Morgana rushing in there to get Soul Shackle on as many people as possible. Looks like she got Malphite, Corky, and Soraka with it. Here you see them beat down Malphite. Soraka getting away. They switch to Corky. Corky gets rune prisoned and executed right on the spot. That is truly an excellent job. Two kills and a Nash or buff. That is a real game changer right there. <laughs> Thank you for watching our very first edition of the League Top 10 Top 10 Clips of the Week. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more Top 10 Clips of the Week, Beginner's Guides, Advanced Guides, and Match Commentaries. This has been Farrell and Spunkify reminding all of you summoners to keep submitting your clips.